what's happening friends just want to go over a couple of things really fast first i cleaned this all up last night and it feels so nice uh, i even replaced my um injector box with a newer more powerful one that i got and i'm super proud of this nice clean setup that used to be strewn all over the place and you should be of yours too so if it's not clean it up second the thing that a lot of people mention about these poe setups uh, which I actually had a concern about when I set mine up and I thought, well, I'm just going to have to deal with it as it comes. So temperature, I uh, text minted on Twitter and they actually replied with the temperature ranges between 14 degrees Fahrenheit and 131 Fahrenheit. I'm assuming that do not go below, do not go above that or we will not do anything about it. Uh, so the other thing is normal electronics are typically operate best within the 30% or less um, relative humidity range. Um, I put a sensor in there, it tells me all of those stats, and I was seeing um, 85 plus um, percent humidity inside of the box. So I had to do something because that is, that is bad. Um, 30's okay, 50's not good, and anything over that is just bad. Uh, so I actually went with what they use in most industrial applications, but on a larger scale is the desiccant um, silica gel. These are reusable. You just take them in, throw them into the oven, and it draws the moisture out. Um, I thought that maybe it might take 24 hours or so to see a noticeable change. I actually put it in about an hour ago. It was reading like 79% and it is currently down to less than 20%. I think I hit 19 and a half just a few minutes ago. So something to think about if you're running POE, you're worried about moisture. Those are really reliable. I put three of them in there and it says that they're supposed to last months. Um, but I do have the sensor in there. So as the humidity may go up, I will know that they are most likely uh, needing replacing. So 17 bucks, I think I paid for three of or for seven of them. Um, and they're easy to find on any of those web stores that you could just easily Google. So. All right, so inside the box, there's that moisture meter. Let's see if I can lodge it right in there. I want to put this here. So I'm not gonna tape them in or anything. I'm gonna shut it, but I need both hands. So that's how it's gonna sit. And uh, we'll see how it does. D-E-S-I-C-C-A-N-T, desiccant. Um, those, that's what everybody uses in industrial applications. And it's the easiest way to just throw something in there uh, to keep down on the moisture. So hope this little tip helps anybody again. Clean your setup up if it's not cleaned up. It just probably is a mess of wires and I know it's scary, but just unplug things for 10 minutes and fix it. You'll be happy in the end. And it might fix some problems if you're having some helium network issues or something. I don't know. But yeah. Hey, thanks for watching guys. And until next tip or some other silly thing that I'm thinking about sharing with you guys, I'll see you. Enjoy your night.